Hello, you beautiful gemstones. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're at. And as you know, my name is Ruby, if this is your first time coming to this video. Well, we're going to have a little talk. And we're going to talk about prayer. Because prayer is always needed. As a little girl, me, my sisters, my brother, we were taught the Our Father's Prayer, Psalms 23, starting at verse 1. And this is the prayer that we should say before we go to bed at night. And also teach your children this prayer. Because this prayer means a lot. And it helps you sleep better. And also if you want to add something after you say this prayer, that's fine. Because you might want to ask the Lord some questions or have him to answer some other prayers that you're praying for family members children loved ones husband wife whatever it may be but today we're going to start at psalms 23 and 1 and i'm going to read it and you can get your bible your phone or whatever and turn to it and we're going to read it together. The Lord is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Now remember, this is the NIV. But if you want to do the King James Version, it's fine. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the quiet waters. He refreshes my soul. He guides me along the right path for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I fear no evil. For you are with me, your rod, your staff that comforts me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anointeth my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely your goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. And I'm going to go back to verse 4. Even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And the reason why I'm reading that, because right now, many of us are walking through the darkest valley in our lives. Because there's so much going on around the world. So much sickness, disease, famine, hunger. We're losing shelter, money, jobs. But God wants you to know you might be walking through the darkest valley. But he wants you to know Fear no evil, for you are with me. And if you have Christ in you, he is with you. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You're saying this prayer because you know that your rod and his staff, they comfort you. He is your comforter today. So don't worry about what's going on because scripture says too, we have so much to worry in today that we don't need to worry about tomorrow. Let tomorrow take care of itself. Some of us get ahead and we go up many days and weeks but take no thought for it because we don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. We don't even know if we're going to be here tomorrow. But if you don't be here 
Make sure your life is right with Christ. Make sure he is with you. He's in you. You have repented. You have asked for forgiveness of your sin. And he will do that. So we got to make sure we're right. Because there is a heaven and there is a hell. But it's your choice. It's your choice to make. We can't worry about tomorrow. We got to worry about today. The Bible says work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. We can't worry about what other people are doing. We can't worry if they don't want to get things right. But you get things right. You turn things around for your life, for your family. You know, read your word. Many of us can't go to church. I don't know what the circumstances is. But if you have your Bible, your word, eat the whole roll so that you may be full with the word of God. He will never leave you. He will never forsake you. But just remember, start saying your prayer from Psalms 23. Some people say, well, I don't know how to pray. Well, all you have to do is get your word and read Psalms 23. Because that is the greatest prayer that you can pray and know that he is with you in your trials and your tribulations. And you know, if you don't know, he loves you. We are all born in this world as sinners, but we can repent and be forgiven. We can repent and be forgiven. So repent today and let God forgive you. This is just a short message that I'm sending out. And I want you to share this video with family and friends, loved ones. And as I always say, even if you don't like it, hit that like button. Hit the like button. Hit the like button. Like, like, share, share. And I always say, what do I always say? Say it with me. You ones that know, Ruby loves you, but Jesus loves you more. Have a blessed day and a wonderful evening. God bless you all.